And as we see more and more stories like this, police and deputies from different agencies all around are trying to see what's working to stop the current spike in violent gun crime. Now the city of Everett is eyeing a program that the east side is using that's taken dozens of guns off the street. Fox 13 News reporter Steve Kiggins is live in the North Sound tonight with more on that plan. So, Steve, what are you learning? Well, Matthew, you know, Everett Police Department, they're facing challenges like so many of our agencies all across Puget Sound, but here in Everett specifically, they're seeing struggles with more gang and more gun violence. It's a beautiful park. It's spacious, very quiet. It's very peaceful, um, and I feel safe. Olivia Morin and her family spend a beautiful day at a beautiful park, but their South Everett neighborhood isn't always so nice along Casino Road, home of some of the city's worst crime rates. We hear about it and we're just like, oh my gosh, it's just another one, another shooting. This week, City Council read raw data from Everett Police. This year, Everett PD expects to see more reports for shots fired and drive-by shootings. Same goes for gang-related investigations and the number of firearms reported stolen. Plus, Everett finding more people carrying more guns added to increased drug activity, court backlogs, and staffing shortfalls. A sometimes revolving door in the halls of justice spits repeat offenders back on the streets. Offenders like Richard Rotter, charged in the murder of Everett Police Officer Dan Rocha. And I'm not talking about just one or two convictions for felonies, but 12. We know that, that the individual that shot our officer had 12 that we know of. Um, that's not uncommon. Everett Police Chief Dan Templeman told City Council it's now working with neighboring agencies and federal prosecutors on a regional violent crime reduction unit, add beefed up special operations, anti-crime and gang units, Everett Police looking to the public to keep firearms from ending up on the street. These are guns that are maybe in homes, maybe in glove boxes, that now are not in homes and in glove boxes where we know that if somebody goes and breaks into that house, maybe it's going to be a firearm that won't get out on the street. A recent city of Kirkland plan lured dozens of gun owners to give up their stash for cash paid for with gift cards. It pulled nearly 150 guns out of circulation. Everett's buyback budget not yet finalized, but could roll out in months. Warren hopes to hear fewer gunshots and spend more beautiful days at Walter Hall Park. It's hard to try to explain something so, so terrible at such a young age, but we have to teach them so young because it's their reality now. So again, we don't yet know exactly how much money Everett City Council might be planning to throw at this project, but we do know the chief told council, look, this Kirkland program, it lasted two weeks, exhausted all the gift cards. Those gun owners continue showing up, handing over those firearms. We're live in Everett tonight, Steve Kiggins, Fox 13 News.